Now it is time for beauty now and our resident guru Trudy has all the tips and products to help conceal those imperfections. Good morning to you Trudy. Good morning. Uh, lovely to have you in the studio. Thank you. Something very near and dear to my heart, concealer. I never leave the house without oh, concealer. Know. Everyone loves concealer. Where do we start selecting a concealer? Look, I think you've got to work out what you want to conceal because, you know, you don't just go yay concealer and put it everywhere because it can accentuate what you're trying to hide if you mm. don't get it right. Also, colour tone is really important. You know, work out whether you're a cool, warm or neutral colour tone, undertone to your skin. If you're cool, you're slightly ready or with a bluish kind of look to the veins. If you're warm, you're more golden peachy. So that's a good indication really of trying to find the right shade. Okay so why shouldn't you just use a foundation that you've got just put that on a bit heavier in parts? Well look you can it's, I'm not saying you couldn't but um, concealers and foundations are built very differently. Concealers have a lot of light diffusing pigments in them which naturally helps diffuse the light from the area that you want to hide. They're also full of vitamins, they're also used to colour correcting pigments so they don't, they don't have the same composition as a foundation and often when you pile on a foundation under the eyes a few hours later it starts to settle in the fine lines. That's beautiful. Yep. Yeah it mm -hmm. looks good. Um, so that's not something that you want to happen so really just skipping the foundation in areas and concealing is better. So what about colour choice then? What should we be aiming for? Look I say to people go to exactly the same shade as your skin unless you try to spot conceal issues like dark circles or redness or veins. But there's nothing worse than seeing a light concealer on top of a puffy eye because as painting, the rule in painting, the light brings things forward, darkness helps to recede things. So if you've got puffy eyes and you put light concealer on it, it's actually going to make them look worse. It's going to make the puffiness look Yeah, it, it actually brings it forward, so it looks worse. So would you use the same concealer for your under eye issues, say, as you would for if you've got a blemish somewhere in your skin? Um, it depends on the formulation. Um, the skin under your eyes is seven times thinner than anywhere else on your face, or anywhere on your body really, which is why it shows those signs of fatigue. You know, if you're tired, it does show oh, yeah. up there. Yeah, that's because you get up at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, but generally you would go with light diffusing concealers for under the eyes that are hydrating, and if you're covering acne, spots, pimples, blemishes, you'd go for something that is drying. So you don't want a drying concealer under the eyes. So um, blemish concealers often have salicylic like acid and tea tree in them. We don't want to put that under the eye area. So it's going to be healing as yeah, well. Yeah, that's right. What about some um, some tips for applying it? Have you got any great ones? Um, I Often you look at people who have put a lot of concealer on and it looks like their eyes are really dehydrated and that's because they really need to prep the eye area first. So a little bit of eye cream mixed with the concealer is a good tip. It actually keeps that area quite hydrated. Um, I always put a little concealer in a, in a triangle just at the corner of my eye. You know when you put on eyeshadow and sometimes it drops down a little bit? If you use concealer to correct that, it gives it an uplifting look. And don't forget the nose area, like a lot of little red veins and things. A little concealer around there always makes a big difference. Okay, now this is my favourite bit where we talk about all yeah, the, let's the products. Yeah, about all the products. Them. Some right. of them haven't even launched. I love sharing new things with Great. you. Great. What should I start with? Um, this start one with the Clinique one, Beyond Perfecting. Don't you love that? name it's so great. clever they've got a gorgeous peachy concealer in there for dark circles which is awesome it covers dark circles and um, before I was going to say too often dark circles is because you've got a hollow under the eye area yeah, that's so me filling that with a slightly darker concealer helps to recede that and make it look much much okay. smoother well I never would have thought about that because um, I always go light but that I've got dark rings is my problem okay that sounds great <laughs> that's up my alley it's Oops. easy to correct what about this so one? um bare minerals is a is a mineral brand amazing stickability 16 hours where oh, before when I was distracted, Clinique is 24 hours wear if you want to test that out, if Ooh, you're doing a pulling yeah, all night yes and all. <laughs> um, that one is a great one for anything, blemishes, it's hydrating, but it's also quite tacky and quite thick. So if you right. want something that's going to stick all day, that's a really good option. Now what about these three here? These are here? clever, these are, light, these are colour correcting, so Revlon's just launched these. The green one is to counteract redness. And they're very sheer, so you're not going to look like you're on the set of Aladdin okay. wearing those at all. Right. It's really sheer and beautiful. Um, the peachy one, like I said before, is really good for dark circles, any darkness that you want to correct. Wow. And the lavender coloured one is really good for brown spots. You know, dullness, muddiness, that actually makes your skin look dull. That, that is amazing. excellent for That's... that. And what about this one here? So this is new too. Um, this is from Hourglass, which is a beautiful brand available at Mecca. And this is called a veil, a concealer veil, and it actually 
actually works like a serum with a bit of colour under it for the eye area. Oh, sounds so exciting. And then the last one is by Terry, also a very luxy brand from um, Mecca, and it's called um, Stylo Click and Stick Click, I think it's called. Ooh. And you just pump it up. But the thing I love about Ooh. it is it's shaped like the shape under the eye area. It so is. you can really get a very good um, precision concealing with that one. Ooh. And again, quite tacky and quite um, waxy, so it lasts for a long time. So many cool things to play with. Hey, so Trudy, thank you so things. much for stopping by, giving me oh, some tips on what I should be going pleasure. and buying. And for more beauty know-how, you can head along to Trudy's website, beautyeq.co.nz.